Welcome back to Introduction to Programming using C++. Today the topic is variables and symbolic constants. What I'm going to touch upon first is first I'm going to give go over the theory on variables and then after that I'm going to go over the theory on constants and then I'll show you a, an example on how to do it on dev bloodshed dev C++ real quick and hopefully you'll have a foundation on declaring variables and constants. So what is a variable? The definition that I use is it's going to be a name for a memory location in main memory whose content can be changed during program execution. What does that mean? It means that whenever you create a program you have to declare some type of holder or placeholder whether it be uh, an integer or, or a string okay because, because there's different types of variables and when you declare a variable doesn't necessarily have to be a number it could be a string one of the examples that I use uh, if I scroll down a little bit is here so your variables will can have one or more letters and an example of this would be tax, total pay, credits, GPA. And the variable itself is going to have something called a data type. And the data type defines what type of data you're trying to store. Because when you create a program, you're going to be working with memory locations on the lower level but on the higher level you're just putting in named labels where you assign values to these labels and you can either change their values or you can assign their values to a, a static value and you can manipulate values within these variables or labels a couple of rules that you have to follow are that your variable names cannot contain any spaces variable names cannot start with a number uh, variable names have to be a max length I forget if it's 128 characters long but you would never want to have a variable name that's that long variable names cannot have any type of special characters should be alphanumeric now variables in itself can be changed throughout your program and I'm going to show you an example on, on how what I mean by that when we talk about symbolic constants then these variables which are constants will not be able to be changed during program execution and I'll show you an example of that also what does that mean it means that once you declare a label as a constant then the value that you assign that label or more specifically a constant variable can never be changed after that and I'll show you another example uh, as we go through on on the compiler but I just wanted to get the theory in first and then I'll show you the programming so a couple of naming rules for constants doesn't have to be my way but as you'll see in my programs that I write in this course all constant variables will have uppercase and if they're one or more words will be separated by an underscore because it's just more readable okay so let's take a look and I'll give you an example on how to use a variable so if we go to bloodshed dev C++ okay and I'm going to write a comment on top and say this is an example of variables and constants. Okay. So let's say I want to write a program to just print out a variable. Okay. Simple variable declaration is first preceded by the data type and you have a couple of data types that you will deal with you have int double char float for now go over string 
in a little bit and char arrays in a little bit but I just want to give you a, a basic understanding of variables and what happens when you declare a variable int can store any type of integer values in memory when I declare int my number semicolon what I'm actually doing in main memory is I'm declaring a memory location by the name of my number and the data type for that memory location is of integer meaning I could only store integer values in this memory location so if we take a look and I'm gonna open up Word right now take a look at this real quick what you're actually doing is you're creating a box and within this box you can store an integer value so be it 16 be it 19 or be it 200 and aside from that you're labeling this box if I go into text box you're labeling it as if I go back as my number and if I do that my label name is my number and let me just format this so that we don't have any there we go now we have a label in memory called my number and within this my number is a box which is of an integer data type and I can store a number now how do I store it program wise right now I'm putting in the value as 200 and <clears throat> you just see it physically on word but how do you do it programmatically very easy I can just do an assignment statement using the equal sign so I can say my number is equal to 200 once I do that that means that my number will now contain the value 200 and I can print it out using my C out object and I'll print it out with an end line and if I compile this compile and run and then you see the 200 value so what happens is it's going to take the C out object, print it out, and it's not going to print out my number as a label, but it's going to print out the value of the actual memory location, which is 200. And that's the normal behavior of any type of programming language. You're going to have variables, and then whatever value you have in those variables, they're going to print out to the console when you use the C out object. Now the other types of variables that I want to talk about are const. And if I declare a const variable, if I say const int uh, some other number is equal to 20. Okay. Unlike my integer value which I can reassign and assign again so what I mean by reassign is I can say my number equals 200 and my number equals 10 this variable cannot be changed after I declare it okay we compile this and we're good I'm not, I haven't printed anything out yet but let me just print it print this out so what I did was I changed the value of my number to 200 and then I changed it again to the value of 10 and then when I go compile and run it should print out 10 now when I print out my value of some other number it should print out 20 if I do that compile and run and there's 20 now the again the difference here is that I cannot do this with a const constant variable. If I try to redefine or re I'm sorry, reassign the value to 500 because it's a constant variable, it's going to give me a compiler error because once you declare it as constant, that's it. 
this is the value forever so the only way that you can change it is if you change it within your declaration okay so that's why I get an error it says assignment of read only variable some other number is an error it won't, won't allow you to do that the main difference is between a constant variable and a normal variable is that the variable itself could be changed that's declared as a variable with a data type but anything that's declared as a constant using the const keyword cannot be changed. And remember, the constant variable, after the const keyword, you have to define the data type of what type of data it is. Hence, that's why I have an int. So this is a constant integer. I can also have a constant float. So if I say const float sum num2 is equal to 90, Point zero. Then now I have a constant floating num floating point number of sum num two, but this is going to give me an error. So let me just comment this out. And if I execute, compile, and run, and presto. Okay. Now I can write out the constant variables just like any other variable using the C out object. And then I can say sum num two and line. So if I compile, and then you have the 90 value, which was assigned to sum num2. The cout is an object used to print out, to print to output. We're going to get to this in more detail as the lectures come along. Just for a preliminary example, so you see what's going on with the output, I'm just using it uh, as an example without much explanation but you will learn more about this as the course goes on and you will be, now you can actually use it a little bit blindly but you can still use it okay and I'll talk about this operator here and why why you need these operators here and that's it for variables and constants uh, I will see you in the next lecture